So, welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a, a look at integrating a Profibus DP card into our TIA portal project. So we have a uh, S7 1500 that supports Profibus DP and Profinet. So you can see here on the project. So what we're going to try and do is add a card to that. And I've decided to go for the DPV1 card for the Hydrangea 200 uh, HMI, which is a Siemens level device, because um, we have a bit of confusion uh, with this. We have two Hydrangea units, the, the standard and the HMI, which have both got different displays and the Profibus cards are different between the two units. Um, so you do have to be careful. So the old um, Hydrangea 200 supported DPV0 and the new one supports DPV1. Uh, there's, there's a few differences on uh, between those two, but the main one with DPV1 is we can now use tools like um, uh, somatic PDM across our network to have a look at the instrument diagnostics and config configuration. So we're going to have a look at that um, and build up a PDM project once we've once we've added the device. Uh, the first thing we need to do is import the GSD um, into our project. And the GSD, you'll know you've got the right GSD first of all via the number um, 81C6. Um, Siemens at the beginning but it's also got a picture of the HMI now if I open the GSD with notepad we can go in there I wouldn't advise editing anything under here and we got the Hydrangea 200 HMI which is the product it's talking about and then as we come down we can see the support supported board rates up to 12 megabytes it's pretty fast and then you come down here and this is the um, acyclic inf information. So this one, um, uh, C2, I think is what PDM uses. So um, all good there. So we need to import that into our project. If you keep the GSD and the uh, bitmat, bitmap associated with it. So if you go into here, there should be somewhere where it says bitmap device. So this is if you have a GSD and it hasn't got a picture and you want to add one, you can. Um, this is where it uh, will be looking for the picture. So with the project, I think you have to close the device network view down. If it doesn't, it will do it for you anyway. Um, we are going to uh, manage our GSDs. Um, at this stage, you would just click install. And it would put that GSD in. So if we go back to add it to our project, um, we need to we need to find it. And I believe it's under. There we go. Sorry, it's under other field devices, and there should be general. And you can see I have two installed here. So but it's the Siemens AG. And you'll see the Hydra Ranger 200 there. So if we drag that into our project, um, it's not assigned, so we need to link it to the master. Okay, and then of course this device needs an address. So this is always the tricky thing to to, to see on the dip switches. So if you have a look here on the on the right hand side, you can see. Um, that there's like a, a cut off on the dial <clears throat> and that's the arrow where it's pointing to the number so in this case we are 77 uh, if I double click this you'll see my slot index table <clears throat> which has all be already been populated so there's not much to do here um, and you can see my input and output um, words uh, for the Hydrangea 200 there. So it is uh, capable of doing two channels plus the third, third channel being a difference or average. Each channel I have my reading and my status, status byte, which is a bit weird because it's got it as a word, okay, um, and the 
signal strength. So if I just compile the hardware and then download. And then if I go online, I can see that it's online. And if you see here, you'll see the sequence, the, the lights go through on the card. So the red light is flashing because it's detecting the board rate. So it auto detects the board rate as long as it's, it's within the board rate limits set within the GSD. Um, and then it will start looking for the connection to the PLC. So, you know, ensuring it's got the correct GSD. So that's the first stage. Um, it's imported into the project. It's, it's relatively simple because the slot index table has all been set out for you. If you want to, to, to do more with this unit diagnostic wise, then you would require PDM and we'll, we'll do that in a, in a future blog. So I just wanted to finish off by showing you the, the data. So um, if we have a look at the slot index table, so the first four bytes are a floating point um, real uh, uh, double word. So there's no scaling and you can see there, there's my value coming back. So this is the tag that I've set up. The status, is a status byte to, to conform with the standard. But to keep the memory map the same uh, for Profibus DP, Modbus TCP, and Profinet, um, we've, had, we've, we've kept the format in words. So it's a, it's a little bit strange here. Um, we've got a word, but we're only interested in the second portion of that, which is uh, the byte 75. So you can see here 74 to 75, but the status byte is held in 75. So you can see the hex 80, uh, the device is healthy. And then the last one is the echo strength. It's in hex here, um, uh, but that again, it's uh, that's just a, a, a word. And then it repeats so i haven't bothered repeating it here so that's fine you can see the data coming back you can drag and drop that data into into your hmi nice and easily with tia portal where you may have issues with this format here with regarding the status byte is pcs7 because normally what you do is you will link your cfc to the process value and then uh, generate the mod the module drivers, I think that's right, um, and it will automatically attach to the status byte. But because the status byte is hidden in a word, um, we may have to uh, manually connect the status byte to the to the standard uh, analog in block for um, PCS7. But other than that, you can see here, nice and easy. In TIA portal, the slot index table is all ready set up for you. So all you have to do really is make the connection, install the GSD, of course, make the connection and uh, set the address and do a compile and a download. And you've got your profile one uh, card working. So the next stage um, is to see what we can do with PDM. And we'll cover that on a future video. But for now, thanks for listening. And I hope it was useful.